Hello and welcome. My name is Amulya and you are watching TubeMint and this is the very first video in the series of HTML5 tutorial and I'm going to hopefully make five or six videos in this series um, to cover everything that you need to know about HTML new elements, the latest elements of HTML5, 5.2 and so in this video I'm going to quickly cover a few elements and then I'll try to make everything very crisp and to the point and so I'll make small videos okay and so in the okay so what I'm going to cover these are very must know HTML5 elements and then I'll create, uh, make video on HTML5 table would rather say 5 okay and then 5 forms HTML5 inline elements Alrighty, so in ftalk, let's quickly go ahead and show you how you can start coding HTML5. So, what you need to have to start coding is basically a code editor. And if you have a computer or a laptop, you already have a web browser. So, it could be Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge. Where is that Edge here? And then Firefox, if you are, if you are on Mac, you definitely have Safari. If you don't have one you can simply go ahead and download Google Chrome or Firefox these are free and can be installed on any operating system so Linux Windows or Mac all right so I have Visual Studio code that can be downloaded on any platform Windows or Mac or Linux it's freely available you simply have to go ahead and look for just type VS code and make sure to have Google as a search engine or Bing otherwise you will get a different picture so this is code.visualstudio.com you simply go ahead and download it from here that's it that's all you need to have so this is what I have Visual Studio Code this comes with a few plugins pre-installed that makes your job easier you can say coding faster a little bit so this is what I've done so basically I've created a folder over here on my desktop you can name whatever you want to and then I have HTML file in it so you can see type HTML file here and the name of the file is index okay whatever name you want to give it give it okay but make sure the extension is dot html or dot htm that, that is the most important part of it so name of the file and then dot and then html that makes it html file now there are a few the first thing very first thing in html5 or html file you need to declare the html version doc type so basically that's going to be a declaration for the file html version okay so the first thing you need to do is give it a declaration and that is a very simple the html file makes it very simple it's very easy to remember okay these days most of the code editors will do very easily like you just to go ahead and put your cursor in it and just type the x exclamation mark over here and push the tab button this gives you the the, the basic the bare bone of the HTML file I'll go ahead and delete it so let's go ahead and talk about everything that was there so the first thing was basically I'll enlarge the font enough I guess this is enough this is going to be doc type declaration for HTML5 so you give it this is basically the less than sign and then you have to type exclamation and then you see what you get that's a suggestion this can be in uppercase or lowercase doesn't make any difference so i'll go ahead and type it in uppercase doc type and then html5 could be in lower or upper doesn't matter you can see simple html5 starting point HTML language that's the suggestion but that's talking about something else 
Okay, that's the declaration. This makes it HTML5 page or file. Then you have HTML tag. So this is basically HTML element. Okay, and there are opening and closing tags for most of these HTML5 semantic elements. But there are a few elements like anchor, um, uh, image, input, those are basically self-closing elements. So you do not need to try this. For most of the elements, you need to open it first and then you close it. Okay, so this is how you open any HTML element. So basically, lesson sign and the name of the element that could be for right now it's going to be HTML and then you close it because I'm using Visual Studio Code it's giving me the closing tag as soon as I complete my the opening tag so what is basically closing tag so it's the same thing all you have to do before I'll do it manually for you so basically you type the lesson sign and the forward slash and the name of the tag and then the more than sign like that okay all right so that's html element basically this is base of this makes sure that everything will go inside the html element so there are two things these are also called root elements okay dom so the first one is head okay i don't need to explain how to open a tag and close a tag element tag now it gives it does automatically so this is head which is basically for the other online platforms under head tag you give the meta for your page to communicate with the other technologies like Google search engine Bing the Yahoo search engine uh, the Facebook Twitter and then Pinterest and there are a hell lot of technologies these days okay so we will do talk about those meta tags later maybe later in the series of SEO the basic tag goes inside the minimum is the title title is basically the page title that we're going to give it here so whatever you type in here so this is going to be HTML whatever name HTML5 tutorial page and then you just save it and if I go ahead and open it you'll see what I'm going to what I'm talking about so just open that folder and then open it or open with your favorite browser this may not be available on your other platforms so this is what I was talking about this is the page title okay anything you type in the head section doesn't appear on the actual page okay that is always either here or invisible to the visitors okay so that's the minimal thing okay let's go ahead and talk about what goes after that so the other root element is basically body body tag okay so this is body tag whatever you type in here will appear will be displayed on the page that your visitor will be able to see it interact with it and that's all you do on in here so body whatever goes inside the first thing goes is header so header is basically an element inside header we will talk about that header okay then we give main element inside main we can give or uh, basically first one a sidebar that goes so I'll type your header goes here everything will be header banner 
logo and navigation bar goes here okay now so that's what it happens in the aside that's a sidebar the supplementary mind my spelling supplementary um, content goes in here okay and then we have our article so article under the article we can have header under the header we can have h1 that's going to be title of the post title you can say and then we can have our another paragraph element in which we can give author info okay that's the article header okay and then we can have another section that's another element in html5 in which we can give image and this is the image element basically you can see this is a self-closing element so in which we have source we can give a source of the image where the image is going to be fetched from so i'll give an online placeholder for it the uh, place holder.com slash the 200 okay and the alt is basically view where is it toggle view that okay so i'll just minimize it in the alt tag we give a descriptive image tag or basically descriptive comment for the image whatever the way you describe it is better and then we will have a paragraph tag again this is a paragraph tag we can have some content in it so basically i'll have small chunk of content here and then we can have a section basically article footer in the footer oh sorry in the footer we can give the um article info whatever goes in it but make sure it's in the paragraph tag easy okay so that's the section main section in main section we have a sidebar then the article and then the in the article we have article header and then we have footer after it we can have a footer that is going to be our page footer so in here we can have um, social media links page social media page pages link links and contact info as well so we can put it in paragraph uh, this could be in something else but for the moment it's just a paragraph so these are basically basic or you can say very common semantic elements of html5 and so just have a look on here this is what it is first we will have head that's the root element the dom of html page then we have body in body we have header main aside article and then footer so that's it for this video we will talk in details in the next video thank you for watching please do like share and subscribe to my channel happy coding bye for now